Remember the nursery rhyme, the three little pigs? These piggies each built homes, one of straw, one of sticks, and one of bricks. Long story short, this big bad wolf did some huffing and puffing, and before you knew it, the flimsy homes made from only natural materials were history. Of course, if that were today, the wolf would totally make a living as a construction and possibly a bacon recipe influencer on the gram. Now, beautiful homes with natural materials are sturdier than ever, with the design giving a rebirth to homes made of earth. Here's Allie Ward to explain. Elaborate or modest, all of these homes are made with the same basic building blocks. They're called super adobe, and they're super dope. This is Sheepta Khalili, and she and her brother Daston now carry on a dream built by their late father, Nader Khalili. He set out to do research on and train people in earth architecture. Super Adobe is a building technology invented by my father that is a very basic principle of using sandbags and barbed wire, along with the principles of the arch, to build dome and vault structures. These homes can be built anywhere on earth safely and inexpensively, and they can be updated with modern kitchens and other amenities if desired. I visited Shifta at Cal Earth Institute, located in Hesperia, California, to spend some time in a real life wonderland. I love that there's so <laughs> many like sitting and leaning yeah, places. Like, you know. know. <laughs> it's like a playground. Yeah. <laughs> These structures are, by design, earthquake-resistant, tornado-proof, hurricane-proof, and can withstand all kinds of extreme weather situations. What characteristics are really notable with this type of building? These are handmade a lot of times. We don't use a lot of machinery because we want it to be accessible to people that don't have that type of equipment wherever they are. It's sort of a tangible poetry, my father would call it. We all came here, a bunch of dreamers, trying to carry out this big dream. How to provide shelter for the homeless, the disaster, refugees, how do we help them to build? He was a humanitarian and an architect. He was really interested in finding solutions for building for people throughout the world who didn't have access to unlimited money and materials. To that end, he found a way to create super strong sandbag structures. Between every single row of super adobe of the sandbag is a course of barbed wire. And that tension element, that's what keeps each of the bags connected to each other and the whole building connected to itself. So it will move as a unit. That's what sort of makes it so seismically safe. And so how is that dome structure made? In order for you to achieve the dome geometry, at every layer, you have to come in slightly. We call it corbeling. Never gonna look at a stack of onion rings the same. <laughs> it's corbeling. That's right. Cal Earth begs you to explore, like a playground. This is fun. Super adorable. And is extra enriching because <laughs> it brings a new dimension to learning. Highly climbable. 